Well, good morning everybody on this Thursday morning. Uh, a little earlier in than I normally am. Um, it's 8 o'clock. Normally I come in at least 9, um, 8.39. Um, going to the port right now because um, this is the can that was supposed to be picked up Monday. And he had just threw too much work at me. So he tied me and said, okay, go pick up the port. It's like, dude, they're closing like half an hour. There's no way I'm going to get there. Uh, so then he wanted me to do it yesterday. But he told me that at 1 o'clock, when I was up in Laval, and I had another delivery to do, I said, well, the time I get there, they're going to be closed because traffic starts packing in at 2. Oh, but how about the 440? It's like, it's not the 440. It's the problem. It's getting there. There's a 13 northbound. It's going to be all packed in. The Metropolitan is going to be packed in. And then once I get to the 440, it will cross and start hitting down on the 25 around the 40 interchange, it's packed in again. So by the time I get there, they're going to be closed. They're not taking people anymore. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, you got to get this done. you got to come in early. See? Disorganized. Fly by the seat of your pants. No bloody plan. And he's got another guy that he hired, but he never calls. He's like, oh, well, there's too much work. There's too much work. I'll, I'll haul him and take off some. I'll call him and uh, take some of the pressure off you. So he never calls him. Yeah. So we're heading to the port now, uh, pick up the one can, and then there's, uh, I think, two deliveries with the um, with container that we're going to use for the delivery, so uh, stand by. All right. We are now at Racine, and there's, like, no traffic on the way getting in here, which is odd. None, which makes me think, is it construction holiday? Possibly. Maybe. I'm really not too sure. But I'm thinking possibly yeah, it most likely construction holiday. If you don't know what that is, because you're either not from Quebec or you're from the States, Quebec has this interesting thing called the construction holiday where now you think it's kind of dumb that you only have so much time to get all the construction done come summertime. You want to get as much in as you can. Nope. Um, construction holidays, well, well, when most people take their vacations anyway, um, that two weeks, there's no construction. None. Done. Everything stopped. Literally. It's like a slow part in the middle of summer. It's called the construction holiday. So I think maybe um, it might be construction holiday. Because I hit no traffic yesterday. It's like no traffic this morning. It makes me think everyone's probably on their vacation during construction holiday. So anyway, we're gonna go in, check in. Got my form filled out, so let's go and um, see what our location is. Stand by. Alrighty then, we got our location. We're looking for section C, which is one row over. Pile 66 is what we are looking for. And I should get on my side of the road. I'm going to do a little flippity flu. I love doing that. This is row C. I got the right row. So this is my row right here. See? Nice big fat C right there. So I'm not doing anything boneheaded today. Now I gotta file pile 66. Stand by. Why are these all reefers? I don't want a reefer. Then again, maybe I do. Stand by, see what we get. Well, holy dog shit. It is a reefer. AMCU. 926-1250. Right there. And it's running. I have to call about this. Why is it running? I've never done a reefer. Well, can't have never done a reefer before. Turns out I do need the reefer on. Well, I don't need it for, uh, loaded in our warehouse, but it had to be on because it's chocolate. 
but I don't have a gen set. So a guy over from Hunt Refrigeration came over. There's this car right over there. And unplugged it, coiled everything back up. I'm like, how am I gonna do that? Apparently I don't. A guy from Hunt came over, so uh, overhead crane is coming over, right there. So we're gonna give him the sign, unless he already knows what show it's in. Either can and stand by! Now we are waiting for one of those barriers to open. We can go have the guy sign this. As always, we keep he keeps the white copy, security gets the blue, and we keep the pink. And then I go hand uh, security back the number card. There's normally in the boot there's a big black guy. He's Trini. Big Trini guy. I wonder if he's working today. I haven't seen him in a while. So stand by. Alright. So, we're now going to Laval. 17 skid delivery. 465 boxes of 17 skids to a uniform place. So we're going to go there, of course, as I'm looking on my phone here, because I said before his software, his Microsoft Streets and Trips, is outdated and often wrong. So I'm on my phone, it looks like I'm just surfing. He comes up in his BMW, oh, what are you doing, blah, 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 I'm like, I'm checking the map, I'm like actually getting, oh, but I put you on a map, and I, so I told him, your software is outdated and often wrong, so I don't even believe no. It's a guide. If I want something up to date, I go on my phone. And then I go to the satellite picture so I can actually see it. So I kind of want to know what the building looks like. And how, um, how I can get into it. I love that. I love that. Wish I had that when I was starting trucking. Anyway, Ugh. head up to Laval, stand by. All right, here we are at our customer. And uh, let me show you a satellite picture of it. Like I was saying before, I was checking it out on the satellite to see what it looked like on the ground before I even got there so I can see um, what kind of building it is, how I get in, and um, stuff like that. Just gives me an idea of what the place looks like on the ground before I even get there. So, here's the picture. Here's we are actually in location. So as you can see, oh, it's not taking a step yet. Um, what it looks like on the satellite, so you can actually see what you're getting yourself into before you even get there which is awesome for planning your trip. Now some places, uh, the place you go is just the office address, but the actual truck entrance is like on the other side of the block, around the block, and you go to the office entrance, you're like, well, where the hell? Where the hell do I go? Now if you take a look at it on, um, on your satellite phone, on your phone first, to actually get an idea of what the place looks like. You can actually see where the truck entrance is, how you're going to get there. 
Um, so when you're looking for it, you actually have an idea of what the building looks like. It's handy. So we're going to close our doors now and let the boss know we're empty and see what's next. All right. This is load number two, mission number two for the day. Um, before we actually start doing cans. But uh, I just also learned that there is a third delivery in Chattagan. Exactly where? I'm sorry, not exactly sure. Because it's a customer we've gone to before, and they've moved. Before they didn't have a dock, and now apparently they do. So I'm. Where's my bill? Ah, there it is, right there. Automotive parts again. I'm doing a lot of that lately. Automotive. Back up to LaBelle. Pretty close up to a place where we just were. And then it's back down to the island. Reload again. And scoot over down to the south shore. To Shanagay. I'm not sure if it's going to be in this truck or in a straight truck. Don't know that yet. But of course we'll find out in a bit. Stand by. Run up to the nearest decimal place. We have arrived at our destination to get off on our cargo. All attempts to hail said customer have been yet unsuccessful. I am sending an away team to see if we can make contact to get off this freight. Why? Cause I got to, mister! <laughs> Time for some Timmies! Yes, well we got that drop off. <laughs> I'm a retard. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Just So while I was waiting for them to unload me, um, I was texting with my niece in Norway. It's quite late there now. It's about 7, 8 o'clock now. <laughs> so before I, uh, she says, I gotta go. I said, oh, before you go, <laughs> go find your mom and whack her over the head with a pillow. Say it from me. Because <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> anyway, time to grab a coffee. Stand by. Okay, so we are going to Chattagay. Well, it's actually not Chattagay. St. Catherine. St. Catherine. But we still got to go over the Mercier. But... I've been to this place before, their old place, when they had no dock. Apparently they have a dock now. Because, the um, they were building a new facility. Last time I was there, oh, months ago, they say they were building a new place. It's just down the street from what I can see on the map, but I don't know how accurate that is. But same street. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, they didn't bring a pallet jack with me because they, oh, they got a dock in Forklets now. Go. Go. All right. I'm going on by what he says, so I'm going. We're heading to the first day and I have been no traffic today so I'm hoping traffic will be light on the first day but we'll see. How many stand by? Well, looks like I was unlucky. What are you looking at? Guy, give me the freaking... Give me the hairy eyeball if he drives by. Well, we're on our on-ramp. 
interchange thingy my who is it going to the mercy and i'm sitting there and i'm stopping the whole bridge is like oh this is safe oh yeah oh crumbling huh constant state of repair of these overpasses and interchanges is a constant state of repair now look at all that you can see the rebar see it Good job, Montreal! Well, I'm not sure who's responding to it. Is it the province? Or is it the city? I think it's the province. And they were neglecting overpasses and bridges for years and years and years and years until about 2005. An overpass on the 15 for. Oh, what street was it? I think... Dagenet. Dagenet. Uh, going over the 15, collapsed. And killed a bunch of people. Then, they were going, oh, maybe we should inspect these. So when they started inspecting them, they found out that uh, the bridges that they thought were okay, were good, or were not. So since 2005, since that incident, you've seen a lot of bridges get torn down and rebuilt. A lot of bridges and a lot of overpasses getting torn down. <laughs> because holy crap, these things aren't safe. They're crumbling. Duh. No kidding. Oh, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Anyway, see you at the customer. Stand by. All right, so um, to the late right now, um, should have done this a little earlier, but um, got two more pickups, two more returns to do here at CN. Brought my wife with me. Hello. Hey, hey baby. <laughs> um, had a bit of a mechanical difficulty, not with this truck, but with our Durango. Um, with Tim Hortons in the truck, and I you hit it. Broke it. I broke it. Yes, I broke our truck. I hit a nail. I had a flat. So I um, had to go and change it and had to figure out how to take the spare out. I figured that out. And then uh, the tire iron that was there was too big because I guess the one that came with the truck was broken. So the guy, yeah, I'll just throw a tire iron. And they're all the same. No, they're not. So then I ended up going to um, Canadian Tire, getting a three-quarter inch socket and a big-ass breaker bar <laughs> to do it. So luckily uh, there was a guy there who helped me. Uh, do it, and I broke his socket. <laughs> the big bar, bang, broke it. <laughs> I felt like a douche. There's still nice guys out there. Yeah, that's see, for sure. Yeah, we um, we were went to Rona first to see if we can find the tools there, and they were closed. And then we went to Canadian Tire, and they bought the tools there, and I replaced his ratchet because I broke it. <laughs> I broke his ratchet. I felt really bad. So it's going, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's like, no, I broke your ratchet. I'm going to buy you another one. Because I would have done that. I would have said, oh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's not a very expensive one. Thinking you better replace my damn ratchet. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we're going to sit here and wait for the crane at CN. And uh, remember to hit that like button, that share button, and the all-important subscribe button. That's right. So <laughs> see you tomorrow.